happy Monday, everybody. Hopefully, you guys had a great weekend. But I have a question to start off this week. Where's all of my gym stars? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Brit Easy, a.k.a. Fresh for the Salon, B.K.A. The People's Champion. And yes, she is Fresh for the Salon. Let me tell you guys something really fast. So, most of you guys know that I'm going through this whole lot journey. And, like, you can't wash your hair for, like, six to eight weeks or whatever. So, when I got to my apartment, it had been about four weeks, which they told me that I could come back and so I could get my hair retwisted, tight, and whatever. So I'm thinking she's going to wash my hair because my hair is, like, really, really, like, dirty, okay? So, all she did was, like, um, an herbal cleanse. Like, that's not good for my scalp. My scalp needs to be laddered. How you do that? Laddered with soap, Jay? Yes, all of that. So, um, they telling me that, hey, not my next appointment, but my appointment after next is when I can get my first wash because they want the budding process to start. I, I don't think I'm going to make it. I don't think I'm going to make it. But anyway, moving on, let's talk about who got it worse. Speaking of not making it. What do you mean, speaking of not making speaking it? Speaking of not making it. Oh, okay. Check this out. Yeah. Oh! So, look where his skateboard is. Let's watch it again. So, let me... Hold Perfect. on, let me refresh. Man, I hate Twitter videos sometimes. They work and then they don't. Oh. I mean, why did he think he could just go right over that? Did he not see the water hose? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so. Yeah. Oh, look at where the skateboard is and look where his body is. His body Ooh. is at least, that's at least about 10, 10 meters up the street, yeah. That's about 20 feet, probably. He flew a long way. And then his skateboard is right here. We're going to watch that thing one more time. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> you know what when you you bring a new minute to slingshot, right? Exactly. All right, so or, this. Ah! 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 The, the scrupper that fell off the pole, but and had the wherewithal to continue twerking. She got back up and started twerking. And I know, I can only imagine the pain that she ah! had to be in to still just like act like nothing ain't happened. Like, Ooh. nothing happened. But, you know, she did all of that. But where the bills at? Where them dollars at? They could at least throw us some Ain't money Ain't not one dollar. Man. Not one quarter. I got, I got a stripper story to tell y'all. I know I'm telling y'all all these stories, but let me tell you. So, back in our college days or whatever, Jay and I wasn't dating then. We had just met, but we were just, like, hanging out. So, all the guys decided to uh, go to the strip club, right? So, I was like, I don't know. But they're like, yeah, come on. It'll be fun or whatever. So we all go to the strip club, and it was like, well, Bridget, you have to, um, you have to tip, tip the lady. I was like, really? I said, well, I ain't got no money to tip her. So they gave me some money. So I was like, okay. So I take the one dollar bill, and it was like, okay, go ahead, just kind of throw it at her. And I took it and I did just like that, and it bounced off her head. It was like, no, that's not how you're supposed to tip her. That was funny. Needless to say, that was the only time I ever. But anyway, what else we got? Um, yeah, we got. Uh... Oh, but she did say that she's okay. She said she had um broke her jaw and she broke um some she of her teeth. Sprained her ankle. And, and sprained her ankle, so but she said other than that, you know, I'm fine. But that was a lot. But thank God that she is okay. Also, we went to the masquerade ball this weekend, ladies and gents. Look at us looking too clean. I hear the master raid ball. Why? Yeah. <laughs> Look at me. I say, hold up, Bridget. Bridget coming up. Yeah. <laughs> Look at there. Bridget going Bridget gonna say she uh she gonna look at all oh, that's that's us as the family right now. You know, somebody tag me, please. Anyway, get out get my seat. Oh, okay. I thought we were gonna talk about the ball. I am gonna talk about the ball in the story. Let me tell y'all what when we up there to the, the ball and Bridget gonna be like gonna look at some chick and be like, is 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 you think her skirt tight enough? I mean, is you think her, her, her uh, skirt short enough? I said, damn, is yours tight enough, bro? This is literally made out of workout material. Doing, it just got sequins on and stuff. You told me you said, oh, everybody in here got on spanks tonight. So I ain't, I don't care about no 
was spi- wait a minute, hold on. So obviously you had saw her dress, so I was like, oh, you think it's short enough? For I didn't. Front? I couldn't tell how short it was because there were children in front of her and people obstructing my view. Really? Yes, I couldn't tell how short it was. I can see how tight yours was though. Skin tight. The hell if it would. Chat. Look at look at this. This thing is literally made out of workout material. This is muscles that's making it look like the oh tighter than what it is. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Anyway, y'all let me know who got it worse, man. Look, man, speaking of which, well, I got too many stories for y'all. We was in the, we was in Walmart this weekend and there was a clearance thing. They had clearance going. And so at this Walmart, it was like they had the clearance price, and then whatever the clearance price was, you take half off of that, and then when you get to the register, they take another half off. We get in there, we picked up a router. One fella picked up the other router. We was going to get both of the routers because we were going to sell them on eBay or something like that. He picked up the other one, Bridget, mad. So we go around the store. Everywhere we go, he's already there picking up air fries and all types of stuff, getting them for less than half price. We get to the register. She like, I hope I catch his ass in the street. I'm gonna get. We get to the register. The dude was so nice. He was like, they having some. They saying they're saying that they're having complications with with you know the prices and stuff like that. Hey man, Bridget, Bridget, ready? She like, oh shit. Now, I was oh like, shit. Here it go. Up. She got her hood on like Kermit the Frog when he walked up on. Cause I turned around and he was walking up on me from the back. And she done throw her hood up. She like, oh shit. I'm waiting for something like this to pop off. Now, listen, let and, me tell you. No, let me tell you. Cause I was like, you know what? This dude is listening to our conversation and is getting on my nerves that he act like he's not listening and he's listening. And I went to the air fryer. He saw me walking up to the air fryer and he got it. So I was Ooh, cool. you gotta be quicker than that. But then let me tell you, I was like, oh God, oh God, my dude. Oh God. I was like, if I see this dude in the street, it's going down. Yeah, so, so that's what she was saying. So and then we saw him at the register. We this, saw him at the register. She just ready to throw down and for no reason. And he's so. walking up, so I'm about to scream. She done squared up and everything, ready to throw some, throw some jabs, got the hood on, and it wasn't nothing. He was just trying to, he was he was such a nice person. And I was like, Bridget, that's what you get. You ought to be shaming yourself. Anyway, speaking of nice people, my boy, Shakedown2012, baby, has two babies. He's posted it on Twitter. I've known about this forever. But he said he got the two babies, Jada and Zoe. Jada was born naturally. He got everything up there. Zoe was born uh, emergency C-section. She wanted to make a dramatic entrance since she's our last. All is well. We are all home, and my wife is recovering nicely. Awesome. Thank you for, thank you for everyone's prayers, love, and support. And we're gonna be down there in person next week, Shake. Or uh, sometime, maybe two weeks. I don't know when we coming down there. We coming down there to kiss the babies. That's right. Well, we don't kiss babies because they ain't got all their immune system. But we coming down there to just give you a hand, my boy. I don't know when we going, though. It could be next week. It could be three weeks from now. But I know one thing. We got brutal on the scene. Wicked and mean. You know the jump shot clean. Keep it a bean. And in the lane, baby, flow the soft with a lean. And when you put me on the block, call me the dream. And I really played the game. I know the rules. Don't bring me half-ass shit. I know the moves. Plus, I know you like the video, so hit that like. Really played in front of big crowds. Hey, right, look, man. That's joint right. fire. I mean, no. Shout out, ain't nobody ask you no questions. Speaking of speaking of uh on the scene wicked and mean, man, check it out. My boy, 21 Savage had this to say about 2K, man. We about to see. I want y'all to hear hear what he talking about. 21 Savage speaks out about 2K. Y'all need to fix this shit, 2K. Let's see what he's talking about. Fake ass shit, man. Y'all got motherfucking. Y'all got the weakest nigga. The, the niggas that y'all be. Geeking up on the game be weak as fuck in real life, bro. They suck. They be trash. Y'all let these niggas make these weak ass shots on their game, man. Yeah, fuck wrong with y'all. Yeah. Shit be fake as fuck. Make me want to break the game. If it make you want to break the game. Weak ass game. Then y'all let these niggas get in these weak ass zone defenses. You can't do shit. Mm. Niggas just standing there. No three in the key or nothing. Eh. Put sad game, man. Now... What I need to know is, do y'all agree with 21 Savage in some regards? Do y'all think that the game is 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 in a bad spot? Do you think it's in a good spot? To me, it really don't matter, man. I think it's in a cool spot right now. I do understand what he's saying about the zones and stuff where you can just stand in the zone and just spam reach all day, and they're going to allow you to get steals and stuff like that for no reason. Like, the skill gap in the game could be so great 
but it's not. It's one of those things, like last night I was playing against, I was playing with randoms and I kept playing the same guys over and over. I'd been playing with T would have beat the fuck out of them dudes. It wouldn't even been no problem. But I was playing with randoms and they were like, how you got an 81 win percent playing with randoms? Hey, don't worry about it. Just worry about why yours lower than mine. Then of course it's always the excuse. I play state, bitch, I don't play no stage. You got a 71 win percent stop. But anyway, if you if you if you play stage, it will be significantly lower than that because you probably win in every other one. You ain't got no VC or none of that stuff like that. But anyway, like I said, um, I understand what he's saying about certain bills being able to do certain things because I because the dude had a um, I guess he had the uh, I don't know what the what what he had a, a floor space and slasher couldn't attach to him. Now I know I was in a bad park too where it was like we was lagging, so you know you you couldn't. Y'all ever be in a park when you're playing against somebody and you can tell something is wrong because you can't body him up? It was one of those type of situations, right? I just couldn't body the guy up, but he could body me up. So if somebody can body you up and they have less badges than you and you can't body him up with Hall of Fame clamps, I'm, I'm letting y'all know right now, that means that you are lagging. That's what that means. It means that you're delayed in that park and if they can body you up and keep you from dribbling, but you can't do the same thing to them at all, ever, that means that you're, that you're lagging. Now, it didn't help that my teammates was just bad. My teammates just lit. Look, he driving to the rim. I'm slapping that shit off the backboard and all that stuff. So my teammates would feel like they need to cheat down. Dude ain't scored. He kicks it out. They giving up 15, 17 and all that stuff. But you know, it is what it is, man. Like, I understand what he's saying about their stupid things in this game. Well, people that have no basketball acumen at all, they have no clue how to play the game. They couldn't dribble the ball. They can't walk and chew bubble gum at the same time, and they can beat you at this game. But it's a video game, so we have to take some things with a grain of salt, man. If it's a video game, you know that trash-ass people that can't do nothing else in the world are going to be able to beat you sometimes. It just is what it is. And plus, then you got, okay, so you got somebody that's garbage, but your teammates are even more garbage. And then that lends itself to being like, damn. Like, and then once I got one teammate beat the shit out of them, and it wasn't even no, it wasn't no problem. That's why I know if T was there, we would have beat, beat them boys like a, a million times. But anyway, you know, it is what it is. I don't know why people be fascinated with my win percentage. Bro, I don't play with number randoms. Y'all already know that. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, don't get mad at me. Get mad at yourself for not being that good. Anyway, up next. Quando Rondo, call it not one Duke Dennis. Let's see what he had to say. Buddy, come on, man. We gonna show y'all niggas. What Duke Dennis said? What the hell Duke Dennis said? Tell Duke pull it. Ooh! Huh. Tell Duke pull his ass up. Y'all gonna tell Duke pull his ass up. Buddy. Man, he said he said he wants some of Duke Dennis, man. He said go tell Duke Dennis pull his ass up. And I'm gonna tell you something now. When you play against celebrities and you play against people like that, man, they might got some dogs with them. But playing against celebrities oftentimes is a little bit of a letdown because unless you playing like I played against uh what is it what was his name? Uh uh Cephalosia. Cephalosia actually pretty decent. But most of the time you play against uh a celebrity, it's just like playing against your best homeboy from the hood. You know, your best I in IRL. Like, they can play the game, and they think they can play the game, and they're good for the people that are around them. But when they play somebody that actually does this, it's not even close. So somebody like Duke probably pull up on him. He probably dropped 21. I mean, it just is what it is. It's like, like I know that that cats be thinking they're good because I, I ain't going to lie to y'all until I got into the 2K, to two, to two, until I got into the 2K community and started playing with people uh, that was better than me. I thought I was pretty good at 2K and 2K16. Then I started playing with people that's about like, damn, it's a whole nother level. And then I got to that level, I'm like, damn, it's a whole nother level. And then once I realized that the level beyond that was just people that just cheesed it, really not good at the game at all. They just find all the cheese moves and hope that they can do something. Like, you know, once I figured that out, then I was like, I don't care to be on that level. But that's just where it is, because you got, you got the average park player, then you got decent, you got good, really good and then you got all the people that don't do shit but cheese and like you know team pro and stuff like that like i said we already talked about that on this channel that that's what most people at the highest level they they that's why they wanted the behind the back so bad they need something that you can just 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 cheese off but hey it is what it is instead of just adapting to the game like t Mizzle and all them did man but yo anyway like i said most of the time we play celebrity and stuff if you played in the celebrities let me know who you played down in the comment section because most of the time when you play celebrities that's really what it is. You're just playing 
like you playing it, but they really just like the best homeboy or something that you that you got or something like that. And last but not least, NBA 2K20. I mean NBA 2K Intel wants to know what's the worst 2K. To me, so far this generation, I'm gonna say let's see what people are saying. People are saying 18. Some people say 20. Some people saying 18 and 20. Some people, a lot of people saying 18. I ain't think 18 was that bad. I mean, there were a lot of things that everybody say 18. The community is nothing but sheep, bro. The community is nothing but a bunch of fucking sheep. 18 was bad, but it wasn't that bad. It, it wasn't as bad as fucking 19 was. Bro, did, did we forget? Did we forget what you could do in 19? Let me go see if I can find my dog ATL. My, my dog ATL went back to 2K19 the other day and showed you how bad that game was. Bro, you can be 3 for 11. Once you hit your third shot, you're in takeover. Once you're in takeover, you can't be stopped. That's good? Bro, y'all got to stop, man. Y'all got to stop. I wish I could find this clip, man, where, where ATL was playing 19 the other day, man. And he was killing. And he was like, bro, this is stupid. I shouldn't be able to just do this. I wish I could find that clip. I mean, just think about that. Three shots and you're in takeover? And people actually was just, bro. To me, 19 was easily the worst. And I'm not even going to sit here. I think this is, the, this is the one right here. Yeah. This is... This it right here? Bro, look at this. This my dog, ATL, right here. He was like, yo. I think they, I think, I think they came back and won this game. No, that was the one. I'm pretty sure they won that one. Did they not win that one? All right, nobody don't care about the ones. We don't care about L's right here. Yeah, this is the one right here where he was talking about Hezzy, the dude named Hezzy. Bro, look at this. Did y'all forget about this? Did y'all forget about this? Did y'all forget about shooting over those and all of that stuff? Hold on, let me see. Boom, look at this. Or, did this, or is this the type of stuff that made the game good to y'all? I mean, he out here nay naying on this dude, bro. Look at this. Look at what he gonna do. Hit him with a dex. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Bro, you can't do nothing. And then when you catch up, look, he gonna go to the ring. Get that shit out of here, ATL. Okay, he knew he, he knew that. But the whole point I'm trying to make, look, he's still dancing because he know what time it is. He about to hit takeover. Look at this. He got six points right now, right? When he hit his next shot, he gonna be in takeover. You, they're not gonna be able to do nothing. Look at the, 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 the oh my God, come on, man. Like, it's no way that y'all could have thought that this game was... Let me see if we, if we can fast forward. Look at right, right here. Hold on, hold on. Let me just back it up just a tad. This it right here. Look at this. He shoot the ball, miss. ATL get the rebound. Like, I don't know, man. I feel like 20 better. Maybe... I, I don't know if we're talking about what's more fun or what's better. If you want to say what's better, 20 is better. If you want to say 19 was more fun... And that's why you felt like it was better. I can, I can, I could probably give you that. But bro, this is not good, right? Look at Green. Eh, I'm, that's, that should have been Green. I'm not gonna get mad. I'm not mad at none of that right there. But the rest of this, you hit, he hit three shots. Look at this. He don't even gotta think no more. He just throw them holes up there. Yeah, this is fun. But to the person that's guarding you, it's not balanced. It's not any of that stuff, bro. Did y'all forget about this? Look at this. Look at this. Y'all forgot all about it. Of course, he's going to the rim now. I mean, he's supposed to go to the rim on that. But it's just like, I guess this is what we forgot about, man. To me, this is not fun. This ain't good gameplay. This ain't nothing that I wanted to be a part of. Look at this. Hit him with the dex. What you going to do? What can you do? You can't do anything. Bro, you can't guard that. And everybody, eh. Every, of course, everybody in the comments, eh, eh, I can guard that. Bro, you ain't guarding this. Look at this last shot he about to take. Look at this. Fantastic grit cash, bro. Y'all forgot about that, bro. Y'all tripping if you think that. Look, 19 was easily the worst to me, but some people probably don't think so. Not even no, not even one person put 19 down there. Somebody had some damn sense. Kanye out of 90 said 2K19. Anyway, man, I'm about to get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. What was the worst 2K? Do you agree with me that 19 was the worst? And I'm gonna holler at y'all next time, man. Till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Gosh, speak!